Well, welcome to Innovation, boys and girls, on this lovely virtual snow day. Today, <clears throat> we are going to do a fun little project in Scratch. So the first thing you have to do is make sure you're signed in. I have my username and password from my previous sign-ins. But if you don't have an account, you can click Join Scratch and create an account. Or if you forgot your account information, you can click Need Help and either enter your username or your email address and click Send Me a Password Reset Link. So I'm going to click Sign In. And now I'm signed in and I'm going to click on Create, which is this button way up here at the top. And I'm going to create a brand new project. So <clears throat> my brand new project is not going to involve the cat. I'm going to delete the cat. Bye cat. Then I'm going to go to my sprites and I'm going to draw a new sprite. So that's another paintbrush. And I'm actually going to draw a paintbrush. So <clears throat> I'm not a great artist. Hopefully uh, you might be able to draw a little better than I can, but I'm going to click on the paintbrush tool. How ironic. And I like the color purple that's there. And I'm going to draw a little paintbrush. That's the tip. I'm going to fill it in. And now I'm going to change the color to like a brownish. Try to get to brown. There we go. And I'm going to draw the top of the paintbrush. Now notice where I drew it. I'll show you this in a second. But I drew it so the tip of the paintbrush was at that little crosshair. And I'll, I'll move it out of the way and show you how I drew it. And I'm going to fill this in brown. So now I have my paintbrush brown. But let me just move this out of the way to show you. And if you put it in the wrong spot, that's okay. You can move it. You see this little crosshair down here? Little cross X? Make it bigger. Maybe you can see it. See it right there? I'm moving my paintbrush when I paint it. So the bottom of the paintbrush is right there in line with that little crosshair. So that way when I'm painting, the part that makes sense that would have the paint on it would be right touching the screen. So that's where the paint will come from when I start painting. The other thing I'm going to do is my paintbrush looks really, really big on the screen. So I'm going to click on the size and change the size to 50%. That's a much smaller paintbrush and I think that I can work with that. So now I'm going to go to the code. And I'm going to build some code into my paintbrush. First, I need to move it around the screen. So <clears throat> we did this before in some other projects, but I'm going to go to control. Actually, yeah, control. Uh, not control. My, my fault. Brought uh, events right here, right here, this yellow thing. Sorry about that. And I want four of these. And they say when space key pressed, but we're going to change the letters to the letters A, D, W, and X. So now I have my four letters in and I'm going to put some motion in here and I want to change the X by 10. When I press the D key, that'll make it go to the right. I want to change the X by negative 10. That's to make it go to the left. And for the, my older students, you know the Cartesian coordinate is to the left is negative, to the right is positive. And then I'm going to move my Y value when I press the W up by 10 and change the Y value when I press the X key down by 10. So now I should be able to move my paintbrush all around the screen. Look at that. I'm going to press in the different keys and that's great. The next thing I need to do is get my um, pen to receive some messages because we're going to create some buttons to get our pen to actually paint. The messages I'm going to receive, so I need to go in to messages. R, up, so when I receive up, and this is under events again, when I receive a new message, down, up, 
and when I receive color change. There we go. I need to make my pen react and draw on the screen. To do that, I have to add an extension, which is this little blue block down here. I click on it, I get all these different things that I can have access to. I want the pen blocks. So now I have a new set of blocks down here that I have access to. So when I receive up, I want the pen to be lifted up off the canvas. When I receive down, I want the pen to be pressed down on the canvas. And when I receive color change, I want to change the pen color by 10. So that way every time I get that message, I'm going to change the color. So now I have to create some things that will send the messages. So I'm going to create some new sprites. So I'm going to click on choose a sprite. And I decided to go with the, the button. That's a check mark for pen down and the X for pen up. And I kind of like this magic wand that's down here. It's around here somewhere. I know I saw it. There it is to change the color. Now, if you decide to do different buttons, that's just fine. Just remember that it should indicate what is supposed to happen. So when I click on the green check, I want the pen to go down. So I have to broadcast a message. So first I have to go to events and say when this sprite is clicked, make this bigger so you can see it. I want to go to and broadcast down. Perfect. Now I'm going to go to the X and when this sprite is clicked, I want to broadcast up. So that lifts the pen up off the canvas. And let me do the magic wand. When I receive color change, oops, the wrong one. Let's see. When this sprite is clicked, I want to broadcast color change. So let me click on my sprite one again. And if we want, we can rename this sprite because I like naming things. We can call this the brush. And I can click on button four and I can name it pen down. Button five, I can name it pen up. And then the magic wand, we're going to change and call it how about magic color. I like that. So now I have all my things named appropriately. Let's see how this works. Press the green flag. And right now my brush isn't doing anything. So I should hit my check. Oh, and now I get a line. Look at that. If I press the X, it goes away. Let's try the color change and put the pen down. Oh, it changed color. Click it a couple times. It changes color. So now I can draw some pretty cool pictures with my paintbrush. I think that is pretty awesome. So you can go ahead and play with the other pen tools. So there's a, if you wanted to create a button to erase everything, create a button to erase everything. If you wanted to create a stamping tool, you could use a stamper. Maybe I'll do that. Let's create a stamping tool real quick. Let's choose a sprite. Um, how about an apple? Why not, right? Let's we'll do an apple. And we're gonna do the same kind of thing that we did before. When this sprite is clicked, we want to broadcast 
a new message, stamp. I'm going to go to my brush. When I receive stamp, I want to do a stamp. Let's see how that works. Hit green flag. Oh, look, it makes a stamp of itself. So you might want to change the costume real quick before it does the stamp. So that way it's not look at making a, a copy of itself with the paintbrush. But there's all kinds of fun things you can do. Um, erase all is a really useful button. We can put that on the green flag click so that way when we start all over again. So we'll go to events. When green flag clicked, we should just erase everything. Poof. So we can also lastly change the pen size and make it bigger or smaller if you think the pen is too small. So that is our complete lesson for today. Have fun drawing and we'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.